Hello there, my Sagittarius Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh my goodness, Sagittarius. Ooh. I see the Magician and the Seven of Cups. I don't know what's behind the Magician. Is it the Three of Cups? Oh, fuck, yes it is. Look at that. Ooh, damn. Sagittarius, for fuck's sake, there's like a trilogy around you you do not need. I don't know what the fuck that is with you. Some of you, this is going to be like the third go-around on this sort of... Uh... Something's got you stuck. Someone's got you stuck. There's just way too much here. There's a lot of illusion and confusion energy here. Lord have mercy. Sagittarius, y'all... Uh, be mindful of who you're sharing your goals and dreams with as well. Be mindful of the attitude that you're uh, looking at things at right now, too. So, mmm. Mmm. Four Cups and the Emperor. You got an Aries energy around you that is just absolutely draining the fuck out of you. This is a very strong sort of vibe when it comes to you, Sagittarius. I almost feel like y'all need to take, like, a fucking timeout. You know what I mean? You just need to, like, rest, recoup. Maybe get off your electronics. Maybe take a fucking walk. Maybe do some spa treatments. I feel like you almost need uh, to be in uh, hermit mode right now. To pull this type of energy, you're in some good vibes. So you're feeling optimistic. There's an optimism around you. But damn, there's too much dissonance when it comes to you as well. So this is like, even if you tried to listen to a sad song, you're going to turn it to something upbeat because that's not sort of the energy that you're in. But someone keeps wanting to sort of pull you back into that energy. But you're out of it. I feel like you're almost out of it. So some of you, are, you're like right there on the uh, precipice of moving forward. But damn, who or what's got this sort of emotional hold on you? High Priestess Energy. I feel like your instincts are on point with that Five of Cups. Uh, some of y'all, be mindful that you're listening to more sort of optimistic uh, music, movies, TVs, books. Uh, find the optimism in something. Uh, now's not the time to go down that sort of rabbit hole, especially since a lot of you are you're almost out of it. But damn. I don't know if you're dealing with an Aries energy in particular, or this is just something that's always sort of been something you've had to work on. There's the Ace of Cups. Someone definitely knows that they missed out on a relationship or partnership with you. Uh, so a lot of you, this is you going back down that sort of road. Always dream girls vibes when it comes to you, Sagittarius. So damn. It's not a good sort of energy. So that's why there's so much of this manipulation when it comes to you. So, I, uh, if you're one of them Sagittariuses that like in those cheesy rom-coms where the person hunts down the person at the end and says, Oh, I hope it was you. Some of y'all need to, I don't know, switch that to something more realistic. Because um, that's really not the vibe. You're pulling in good uh, opportunities. A lot of you are pulling in good sort of uh, relationships or partnerships. Someone definitely sees that you're sort of, you're not really tapped into this shit anymore. So it's, it's trying to suck, uh, pull you back. <laughs> the Lord have mercy. Uh, it's a strong ass energy though. But seven of cups, the three of cups, the magician energy. Hopefully you're finding the optimism in things. Someone definitely feels like they missed out on an opportunity with you, but I feel like they missed out on an opportunity to manipulate you. Anytime there's three of cups, so there's more than one sort of energy when it comes to this. So, uh, you're not the only one, right? Uh, yeah, you're a dreamer, yeah. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. Yeah, eight of pentacles. You make it work, whatever the fuck this is. So, without your energy, without your sort of, uh, this feels like a, a just a pessimistic energy. This feels like just a, that same old, you're just like treading fucking water. Uh, some of you, with regard to your relationships or partnerships, you're just like treading fucking water because there's too much sort of dominance over it. There's way too many characters when it comes to this as well. 
So some of you, seriously, you need to be like doing, this is like a one person show. Or this should be how you're looking at things right now. Uh, what's that sort of Three of Cups vibe? How do those really factor into uh, relationships or partnerships and how that sort of deals with you? Someone definitely knows they missed out on, on, on an opportunity with you, but it's more like an opportunity to manipulate you. Yeah, fucking six of cups. Look at this. Oh, quit over romanticizing every fucking thing. Uh, Sagittarius says, I don't, don't want to piss in your Cheerios here, but some of you, it's not that. True love is really going to be a very beautiful sort of freeing, uh, liberating. It's going to feel good. Those of you that stay stuck in shit, it, it's kind of like that energy. You notice the bunny is cuddling up there to the fox. So, you know what I mean here? I feel like you're that butterfly energy. So many of you are just getting out of this sort of stuck, stagnant vibe. So, do be mindful of what you partake in right now. Hopefully, you can't listen to sad songs. You're more up upbeat. Side-eyed or sad eyes? Gemini's had this card come up. Someone definitely knows they missed an opportunity with you, but I feel like they missed the opportunity to manipulate you. So I feel like you avoid the player energy. Get those sort of romantic type uh, illusions. Um, that's not reality. Especially when it keeps you just sort of stuck or stagnant. If the relationship or partnership has brought you more heartache than it has joy, what's the fucking point of that? You're definitely dealing with a manipulative energy. Showgirls. Knight of Pentacles. Ooh. Nothing's really going to change. So a few sweet nothings here or there isn't going to change this sort of uh, uh, a person sort of vibe. Something don't work, though, without you in it. Queen of Wands. There's definitely a jealous vibe when it comes to you. There at the Seven of Swords. Street smart and wise. Lord have mercy. They're looking at the realities of something. Sagittarius, I really feel like a lot of you need to quit sort of uh, sharing so much about your personal life. Sharing so much about your sort of uh, dreams and ambitions. The Three of Cups, there shouldn't be a paranoid energy when it comes to you, but there should definitely be more of a realistic viewpoint when it comes to you. So, Lord have mercy, Sagittarius. See, that was in reverse. It should be in the upright. So, damn, Sagittarius. Yeah, there's that six of swords. You're like right on the precipice, uh, precipice of moving forward. Why can I not say precipice? Uh, you're right at the point of moving forward. Breaking free from this sort of stuck, stagnant energy. Don't allow yourself to stay stuck. So, you're going to have a very interesting choice to make. Some of you hold yourself in high regard. If you're looking for an emotional connection from someone who is not capable of showing you that emotional sort of satisfaction that you need, that isn't going to change. So some of you, if someone doesn't sort of match your love language, someone just doesn't change that overnight. Some, some things just aren't that quick. Can people change? Yes, they can. But you do not have to be the person to test that theory. So you've been here, done this before. A lot of you are pulling out of that energy. So you're not staying stuck in that woe is me or love is a battlefield or any of those sort of uh, negative songs. Any of those sort of negative vibes. Capricorn Moon. So focus on you. Because once you pull focus on you, you keep that sort of dark ass energy at bay. A lot of karmic vibes around you, Sagittarius. But it's uh, not f sort of feeding that energy. Those of you that's breaking free from that sort of stuck, stagnant energy. Looking at things from a more optimistic standpoint. Some of you dealing with people who emotionally are never going to be able to give you what it is that you want. But some of you keep, you keep trying to make it work. You just keep trying to make it work. This is that on again, off again. This is break up to make up energy. Uh, you're not the only one when it comes to this. So there's so much sort of external vibes uh, around this as well, which really makes all the difference. 
Damn, Sagittarius. Who's the heartbroken one now? Who's singing the sad songs now? Lord have mercy. The hermit vibe with you is you're not sort of feeding this sort of stuck-ass energy. So I don't see a lot of love here. There might have been a relationship or partnership, but you're not sort of feeding that codependency. Damn, Sagittarius. You only pull this energy when you're in good vibes, though, Sagittarius. So it's important that you keep the optimism and stay away from the sort of negatives. Romantic comedies are great, but there's never like the follow-up. So, you know, at that one point in time, they might reconnect, but how long until they're bitching about the same shit that sort of broke their relationship or partnership up? Uh, be mindful of sort of last minute uh, attempts to get your attention. Some of you street smart and wise, be mindful of the catfish and energy. Who are you really dealing with? There needs to be more sort of a reality or, or a more realistic sort of viewpoint uh, moving forward when it comes to your relationships or partnerships. So many of you are just at the point of uh, moving on and sort of uh, looking at this sort of energy in the rearview mirror instead of looking at it uh, being stuck or stagnant in it. Lose the paranoia, some of y'all. This is like, a, don't sort of feed that energy. I think your cross-watcher vibes are more heartbroken that you're not sort of feeding this energy. So something don't work without your participation. So uh, gaslighting, ghosting, all that shit. You've been in tarot land long enough. You know how that vibe goes. If you're looking for someone to come in and give you the love that you want, some of you are expecting that from someone that you really shouldn't trust anyway, right? I don't know much about foxes, but I'm pretty sure a fox would eat a bunny. Uh, so, you know what I mean? You've been there, done that, so a lot of you know. This is you know better. Focus on you. So, you're pulling in good vibes. That's what makes the difference. So, what's the sort of general vibe on top of all of this? Optimism. A lot of you, it's optimism. It's optimism. The energy only works if you feed it. The opportunity only exists if you sort of keep it going. But something don't work without your sort of participation in something. Yeah, the Three of Pentacles. Definitely be mindful of catfishing. Uh, for fuck's sake, some of you. Work, love, life. Uh, don't be surprised, uh, Sagittarius. It's uh, uh, sort of a work opportunity once they come back in. Those of you that are focused on uh, looking at things from a more positive perspective, moving forward with uh, different hopes and expectations as well. Keep your faith and trust, too. Uh, those of you, if you're praying Sagittarius, right, you have faith in overcoming this sort of toxic energy. Definitely be mindful of uh, uh, C-U-L-T energy, uh, Sagittarius. Some of you be mindful of your sort of religious affiliations as well. Uh, this does not need to be romantic if you're not romantically inclined at the moment. But damn, something don't work without your energy. There's the Libra vibe, bringing that balance in. What's over that Libra energy? That balance wants to come in. So some of you quit sort of fighting that balance coming in. What's over this Libra energy for Sagittarius? Fuck the drama on something, too. Y'all don't need that shit in your life. If it's happy music, if it's, uh... Instead of romantic comedies, maybe you're just watching some good comedians. The Six of Pentacles. Let that balance. That balance wants to come in for you, so let it sort of happen. You don't need all the drama with something. 
yeah, you need to sort of encompass that hermit vibe. For a lot of you, just be mindful of who the fuck you're sharing your goals and dreams with. There's others that's far more dependent upon you than you can even imagine. And I'm pretty sure a fox would chase the rabbit. So some of you already know you're dealing with somebody that you probably shouldn't trust any fucking way. Especially if you're wanting an emotional connection from somebody that they're just not able to give you that. So quit over romanticizing everything. Look at the realities of something. Not overly dramatic with you. That's the thing. It shouldn't be. There's the Six of Pentacles. There's the Three of Pentacles. Where's the balance for you? Something don't work without you, though. So if you're not f sort of feeding that sort of energy, then it doesn't work. Those of you who pray, trust it. <laughs> I mean... I don't know. There's not a whole lot of drama that should be on this with you. But some of you get sucked back into it. Take what's yours and leave what's not. Have the wisdom to know what's yours and know what's not. Uh, here's Sagittarius, right? Lord have mercy. You know you're in good energy, though. So, Capricorn Moon could be a good time for you to uh, focus more on you. You know the shadow self, so you know the you know what you need to be paying attention to, what you don't need to be paying attention to. That hermit energy, you know what that feels like? If you're going through hell, keep on moving, don't slow down. If you're scared, don't show it, you might get out. For the devil even knows you're there. So, damn. Sagittarius, some of y'all might want to look at a better class of people as well. So, take what's yours and leave what's not Sagittarius. Sagittarius, I also get the feeling there's another Sagittarius that is probably uh, not a good benefit for you. So, take what's yours and leave what's not on that. Definitely be mindful of catfishing energy. But if you have to be told that, it's, it's probably too late, right? Anything else for Sagittarius here? <laughs> A magician energy. Ooh. Do you like magic? Magic works if you believe. So, damn. Your sort of viewpoint on things is what makes all the difference when it comes to this... So, Sagittarius, right? It's focusing on the positive. Those of you, this is you moving through that energy. But are you going to come back around? Don't over-romanticize anything now, because for fuck's sake, you never see the ending where, you know, oh, they kiss and make up, and then ten minutes later, they're bitching about the same fucking thing that broke their relationship or partnership up. Uh, you're aware of everything you need to be aware of. It's just uh, you got some interesting choices to make. Where you put your time, energy, and attention. Because something don't work if you ain't feeding the sort of energy there. Mm. You only get this vibe, Sagittarius, when you're in good energy. The Three of Swords is in the Nine of Swords. So... I feel like you're this singular sort of vibe with the hermit. But something only works if you sort of uh, allow it to. You give power to what you believe. Damn Sagittarius. Loving this. But... Anything else for Sagittarius? Probably want to change up the energy around you as well, Sagittarius. 
Strength card. Strength to sit your ass down. Some of you, this is almost like a repeat cycle with you. So this isn't like anything new. I think if your expectations are always the same, you kind of need to look at the reality of something. I mean, I really don't think a bunny and a fox would be cuddling up like that, right? There's an organicness with this as well. So focus on what's important to you. There's like no argumentative vibes either. That's what makes the point. When you're not feeding that energy, then it kind of dissipates. So definitely be mindful of uh, what you're sort of consuming and how you're sort of uh, uh, looking at everything. So take what's yours, leave what's not. Sagittarius. Don't expect miracles. Don't expect miracles. Some is still the same emotionally stingy person that they always were. So they buy you a cute fucking teddy bear. Five minutes later, you'll be bitching about the main source of the problem any fucking way. So, damn. Keep going, you're about through this energy. This could be an interesting sort of transiting energy when it comes to you uh, as well, Sagittarius. You got Capricorn Moon, and then you got, uh, we're in Cancer season now. So some of you, that could be an interesting sort of juxtaposition as well. Mm. Take what's yours, leave what's not, Sagittarius. Peace, love, and light. Good luck, God bless. Take what's yours and leave the rest. <laughs>